how could there be enough water to flood the earth entirely? Yeah, this is this is a really good question because science has shown this is something that needs explaining. So the U.S. Geological Survey studied and they found that if you took all of the rain clouds and all of it at once dropped all rain, it would cover the entire earth with about one inch deep of water. So, you know, when the, when the rain clouds start dumping in Noah's day, it's not going to flood the earth. Here's another one. If all the glaciers and ice sheets melted entirely, this is from NASA, the global sea levels would rise by about 195 feet. We're still not talking worldwide flood cover mountains kind of stuff. But when they start looking downward, you know, remember the first thing described in the flood is that the springs of the great deep burst forth. That gets a lead bill in Noah's flood. But according to the American Geophysical Union, there are approximately 43.9 million cubic kilometers of water in the Earth's crust. And beyond that in the mantle layer, there's enough water trapped inside mineral called ringwoodite to flood the ocean three times over. So when you look down, there's more than enough water to flood the Earth the way that Noah's stories described. 